and welcome back to another vlog. I love vlogging and I hope y'all enjoy watching my vlogs as much as I enjoy creating them. So today, right now, it is Friday. What time is it? It is 1.29, Friday, March 5th. And I'm currently trying to like mentally prep myself for a wash day. So this entire vlog is basically gonna be like a get ready with me, like a two day get ready with me for my International Women's Day shoot. So I wanted to shoot something special. You know, I'm all about the girl power. I'm here for Women's Month. So I'm really excited to kind of take you guys along the entire journey. We're doing wash day today because I like my day two hair, I can fluff it out more and all that. Um, so we're doing wash day today, then we'll get into some makeup and finishing up, like doing the finishing touches on my hair tomorrow, and then some behind the scenes of the shoot itself. So I'm excited. By the way, this video is sponsored by Curl Smith. Shout out to y'all for sponsoring your girl. So for wash day today, I'm gonna be using a full head of Curl Smith. To wash, I'm gonna be using their Curl Smith Detox System. So it comes with these three products here which are really good for getting rid of buildup and just kind of detoxing your scalp it's about that time for me again like you guys have been seeing i've been trying to be a little bit more intentional about like actually caring for my scalp and detoxing on a regular basis and it's been about a month since my last like scalp detox so i'm going in with these so it comes with step one which is the scalp primer and then step two is the wash and scrub detox probiotic so this is like the main thing that like detoxes your scalp and then it has a postbiotic calming conditioner as well i really love this entire system i've used it before if you guys want to see the scalp products in action i did an entire video on that so you guys can make sure to check that out if you really are interested in hearing like more in depth on that basically it's just amazing for your scalp like long story short so it's really what my scalp needs right now so i'm just gonna go ahead and do my little scalp detox do a deep treatment actually what am i gonna treat my hair with Oh yes, okay, so I've been loving this. I have used this once before. So this is the Curl Smith Hydro Cream Soothing Mask. Oh, I've used their double cream deep quencher. It's amazing. But this, like, kind of hits different, and it smells like... It's the, probably the best smelling deep conditioner I've ever used. Very excited. I love this. My hair has been pretty thirsty ever since I got it colored. It's just craving moisture. So yeah, basically scalp detox, deep treatments, and then I will be back for us to actually wash and style together. Not wash and style, just style together. Alexa, play Scary Hours 2 by Drake. Scary Hours 2 by Drake on Amazon Music. Yes! Here we are. I have had my treatment in for probably close to an hour now. I really wanted to get that moisture in there. So now I just need to kind of wash this out. You know what? Let me go ahead and put on a robe. All right. Let's take this out. Oh, my scalp feels so good. It's so nice and tingly. It just feels really, really nice and clean and tingly it just feels amazing so i really do love those products look at these curls oh my gosh <laughs> wow like i was saying earlier my hair has been like super thirsty like not damaged or anything but just like really really thirsty since i colored it so we're not going to use any protein today we're just going to keep the moisture going yeah <laughs> Oh, that soothing mask is so good. And I love the fact that it works well for scalp as well. So you don't have to worry about it like causing buildup or anything. These curls are looking nice and juicy. I'm very excited for this wash and go. Okay, let me go ahead and rinse this out so we can get into styling. So for this shoot, I really want big hair. I want my hair to be like nice and defined. I want it to still be shiny, but I want it to be big and proud like it's an international women's day shoot so i'm like celebrating being a woman celebrating all that we are and to me like part of that is definitely celebrating my hair i am only going to use these two products to style today so this is the curl smith oh i'm dripping all over myself so this is the weightless air dry cream and then the air and shower style fixer love these two but what i'm gonna do is style in slightly larger sections and not like go super crazy with the gel i still need the gel to be there because i still need the hold but i want to be able to like crunch it out and have like big fun like just big curls that are just out there big proud you know it's just gonna be like a whole big hair don't care moment 
and I'm excited. You all know how I feel about making sure that I'm styling my hair on super wet hair. So when I'm styling outside of the shower, this spray bottle is my best friend to make sure that every single strand is nice and drenched. It's growing, look at, look at that, look at that, look at the length. This is like the middle of my boob right here. What? Oh, this is where I want it to be. I actually want it to be like right here, like meet my under boob without being stretched. That is my ultimate goal. So y'all just stay tuned because we're on our way, okay? Right, and then in we go with gel. This is like a really stronghold gel. So again, not wanting to go too crazy. So you guys will actually get to see later on in this vlog how I'm actually gonna go about shooting the photos myself. So exactly like my equipment, exactly what I'm using. So if you guys want to be creators yourselves, this could be potentially like helpful for you as well. Cause when you're starting out, you don't necessarily have the money to be paying people all the time. But yeah, so I need to work on my mood board once my hair is finished being fully styled. And so I'll give you guys a little sneak peek of that as well. And still managed to get my shirt soaking wet. <laughs> exactly what I was trying to avoid. All right, so I think this is it. I'm just gonna go ahead and let my hair air dry a little bit and then I will diffuse a little bit as well, I think. Sometimes it can help me get a little bit of additional volume, but yeah. I think we'll be good to go. All right, so let's have a quick look at my mood board for the shoot. This is just a board that I quickly put together in Pinterest. So I just was searching and I saved anything that inspired me and looks really cool. So I really liked, not necessarily this color, but I liked the idea of monochromatic. So I'm kind of going for like a monochromatic pink vibe. I liked this idea of getting four shots that are all kind of like different different moods you know this is dope but this is something i would definitely need a photographer for so i just saved it anyway you know, it doesn't necessarily have to just be a vibe for this shoot but definitely a look like that is coming soon just wait on it um and then these are just a couple others we got jackie up in here see i'm like wondering maybe i just do a plain background since i'm shooting myself so just plain background for my studio so yeah, this is what I'm thinking. We're probably, yeah, it's probably gonna be plain background, something more along the lines of this, monochromatic and potentially four shots is what we're going for. Really excited to take you guys along this with me and show you how I take my photos, how it comes from like literally my mind to then doing it to then on IG. Right now I gotta answer some emails. I'm gonna let this air dry and then that's basically gonna be it for today, I think. It is, I was about to say Thursday, but it's Saturday. It's Saturday, it is shoot day, and I'm feeling good, I'm feeling excited. I exfoliated my skin today, so it's looking a little glowy. Mm -hmm. And right now I'm working on getting the outfit sorted out. So I just steamed my romper. So this is what the look is gonna look like. It's just like a deep V romper, and then, these are the accessories. I actually, so this was, the outfit i feel like i've planned everything around this pink necklace if you guys don't know my mom owns a fashion jewelry company the finishing touch make sure you're following on instagram amazing stuff so unique so when i saw this i was like dang this is gonna be actually perfect for international women's day so we're going with like a pink theme today so this necklace with these matching earrings and then i have these two sunnies as well so i don't know which one i'm gonna go for yet i don't even know if i'm gonna go with any of them yet but i just thought it would be kind of cool to add this in to the whole pink monochromatic moment so yeah it's basically about time for me to do my hair and my makeup i literally didn't do anything else to my hair yesterday i just put it up in this clip and then went to sleep so we're about to see exactly what it looks like when it comes out of this clip and get into this makeup. Let's actually go ahead and head to the studio so we can get started. All right, so I actually went ahead and put on the romper so that, you know, while I'm doing my makeup, I can get an idea of the color and like how pink we're actually gonna go with the makeup. I'm like a little nervous. I'm just such a neutral, simple girl, but I did really wanna step out of the comfort zone today and do something a little bit different, so. 
we're gonna go with it first things first i'm gonna let this hair out so this is how i do it like i go to sleep with a pineapple let it out in the morning and i honestly will just give my hair time to just kind of shape itself what i'm gonna do for right now is just leave it out Ooh, yes yeah, so i'm just gonna leave it out with a little headband up front boom so giving it some time to air out on its own before we actually shape it and now we get on into some makeup <sighs> so i want to do glam but like not overly glam if that makes sense i want like i want to look clean and flawless but i also don't like i want to look more like me like i don't i don't want to go too crazy you know i don't know if that makes sense <laughs> you know what i think i'm gonna do my brows first today because i have this brand new brow pencil by huda beauty this is supposed to be the smallest brow pencil in the entire world so i'm very excited to try it look at that you know what? let's let's get this to focus boom do y'all see that that thing is tiny let's compare it actually wow this is it compared to the nyx micro brow pencil which is the one that i normally use so nyx on the top huda at the bottom it is like significantly smaller so i'm really excited it should really give us some like really small hair like strokes i got light brown i hate for brows to be too dark so let's go ahead and try this out so this is like looking like a really ashy kind of brown on me i'm not 100 percent sure how i feel at the moment i will say that it is super fine like these strokes actually look like hair you can already see there's a slight difference between my two eyebrows but it just still looks really nice and natural do you want to know what i really hate brow bombs they really just i think for like a normal everyday brow i could have gone with this because i like a really nice lightweight looking everyday brow but i feel like for this we're probably gonna need something a little bit deeper plus i'm gonna need something with a little bit more pigment to cover this up because that's like right smack dab in the middle of my brow which is not cute so i'm just gonna go ahead and fill in the other one the same way i've done this one and then we'll go in with something else on top oh look at how natural it just looks so like oh like those are your brow hairs you, she didn't draw on brows today you know what i mean like it just looks uh so good but like i said we're going for a little just a little bit more glam today so time to bring out the zip brow this is by anastasia beverly hills it's a brow pomade and this is in the shade chocolate so it's like a little bit warmer not as ashy as like my natural brows but it'll give us a little bit of additional pigment which i feel like i'm needing right now I and mean, we're gonna have to like conceal the brows everything like i need i need it to be snatched the one thing that we gotta snatch through is these brows i feel like brows make all the difference so i actually like to pick up products and then i like to smooth it out and kind of blend it out on my hand first so that there's not like a chunk of product on the brush that's just one little tip Ooh, glam brows you see that kind of just zhuzh them right up yep this is what we needed okay so i'm grabbing my nars cream concealer i <laughs> I'm singing everything today. That's just been the mood. So I really like to use cream concealer for my brows just because I like the way that it blends out underneath my brows. I just think it looks so good. So good. So same kind of thing. I pick up a bunch of products on my brush and then I just dab it. I use the back of my hand a lot when it comes to my eyebrows because it helps you like to control the amount of product that you're using so it doesn't like go overboard, you know? So I think the theme of the day is gonna be to use some new makeup. Well, not the theme. I'm not just gonna use pure new makeup because we need this to come out good, but I do wanna try this new Secure the Blur Primer by One Size. I mean, I kinda trust Patrick Star to come through, so. I like that this feels moisturizing, but blurring at the same time. A lot of other like blur primers can feel a little bit drying because they're just focused on just blurring and that's it but 
this feels very like blurring but also moisturizing it feels good on the skin which i like okay all right so let's go ahead and see how this wears under makeup full coverage for like special events and like more flawless glam moments i always love to reach for this nars soft matte complete foundation i think is what it's called i wear the shade tahoe tahoe is going to be slightly dark for me today but we'll just correct a little bit with yeah definitely a little bit a little bit deep but i'll just correct with concealer this is more my summer shade and we're still kind of coming out of winter so i am a little bit more pale because guess what it's like the color of my my body you know what i mean it's more similar to the color of my body so it's not too shabby not too bad we'll make it work I've been watching Love Island. <laughs> Love Island UK, Love Island Australia. So now I feel like I'm British, but also a little bit Australian. Do you reckon? Do you reckon? I really feel like this primer actually, actually did the thing. I mean, this foundation is bomb on its own, but I feel like it's working nicely with this primer. Ooh, my face definitely looks a little dark though. So we're gonna have to brighten this up. Ooh, so this is one of my current favorite new bronzers. This is by Liss Beauty. No, it's not my own beauty brand, okay? I kind of feel like it is though because, you know, Liss is my name. <laughs> well, my nickname, but um, this is a black owned clean makeup brand which I'm obsessed with. Look at this bronzer shade. Not too red, but still nice and deep. It's like the perfect bronzer shade for me and I love it. I love it so much. Oh, I didn't say the shade name. The shade name is Courage 10. They're available at Sephora. As far as I know, they're only available online though. So go ahead and order online before they sell out because everybody is currently obsessing. Like it's really that good. I'm basically giving myself a nice 10 <laughs> with this bronzer. I am also loving their cream blush. This is the shade Inspire. It's like a satin matte, which I, ooh, I love. You got favorite blush, favorite bronzer, clean black on brand. I love it. I'll tag these below so you guys can check this out. Oh, look at the color payoff. Let me blend it out and y'all will see the magic. Why are you shaking your head at me? Challenge get with these accents. The magic. I don't even know what accent that is. I'm just saying it dramatic so that, you know, they can get the feel for the mat. It's not just magic, it's magic. I see. <laughs> so nice and fresh. It's giving me all the spring summer vibes. Another black owned brand. So this is something that's brand new. I just ordered it from Sephora. It just came in. So I literally have not used this yet. But it is a highlighter, like a cream kind of highlighter, but this is in the shade clear. So it's just meant to be like a nice, like glossy kind of highlighter, which I like. So I'm gonna try this out right now. Just rubbing my finger. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous. My biggest thing is I don't want this to pick up my makeup that's underneath. Ooh, you see that? It's like a nice wet kind of highlight, which I love. I'm gonna go in with my new favorite powder highlighter which is right here laura mercier did something special here so i hate 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 double hate loathe <laughs> that's a grinch reference if you didn't get it um this is a highlighter that is not going to be glittery which is actually what i really really hate it just goes on really nice and smooth and especially when it's paired with like a cream product underneath oh wow i love it so so this is the shade Indiscretion. Do you see that healthy glow that we got going on right here? Oh, I love it. Healthy, healthy glow. That looks natural. Like my skin is just dewy on its own. So I've been avoiding my eyes this whole time because I have a tendency to be like, ooh, it's special. So I need to go crazy and do something crazy on the eyes damn well i'm not a makeup artist and then i end up like doing something a little too crazy that doesn't really look that good so i'm trying to avoid you know i'm trying to ignore the urge to like be like oh yeah let's go all pinked out because it it, it you know there's high potential of it just end up looking like a splotchy pink mess 
because I really, I'm really not a makeup artist. I'm really not. I just be trying my best out here in these streets. I'm tempted to do something brown, but at the same time, I promise that I would be outside of my comfort zone. Actually, do you know what? I have a mauve, mauve palette. This is Lawless, the baby one. I mean, this is kind of right right up the alley like some mauves will kind of go nice with pink i think so <sighs> i'm nervous but you know what we're probably just gonna do one or like maybe two shades and that's it i just need a little dimension and that is all literally that's it that's all i need so i'm gonna grab my trusty fluffy blending brush and i think i'm gonna go in with this one right here Ooh. the theme of the day is stepping out of our comfort zone so here we go <laughs> let's just you know we've already committed it's already there so i'm just gonna take my time i feel like that's half the battle with um eyeshadow is really taking your time if you're like me and you're not necessarily like a pro makeup artist you know just take your time and be patient Ooh, this is kind of pretty though i just need to blend it out so it doesn't look like you know a big splooch. Hey, what's wrong? Do you see that? Do you see the difference between the two? Like this has ultimate definition. I flicked it up a little bit so we have like a teensy bit of a, a fake wing. Cause that's the most wing I know how to do. <laughs> this just snatched my eye, just zip. Ooh, and then when we have the lashes on, it's gonna look so good. I'm very proud of myself. Lashes! These are definitely my glam lashes for some they would call these everyday lashes but these are glam lashes for me <laughs> y'all know we keep it simple over here i'm feeling very special very glammy okay so before i can actually decide on my lip i think i'm gonna go ahead and put on my accessories and then we'll do hair last oh my gosh it's so pretty and it's so like women so this is the vibe oh okay so here's my dilemma right we went like fairly safe with the eye even though it was like felt like scary to me this is obviously you know the statement piece of the day but do i do pink on the lip or do i do nude and i'm kind of feeling like maybe doing a little pink I'm nervous. If it looks bad, I can just wipe it off and put back on nude. So let's try the pink because we're stepping out. I think it might be a vibe. I gotta take a few test shots first to actually see if I'm really feeling the look. I may potentially add a lip gloss at some point, but I won't really get a feel for what the pictures are gonna look like until I actually take a few test shots. So what i'm gonna do is just leave this on for now and the last thing for us to do is to sort this hair out so remember i told you guys that i wanted it to be big i kind of want my hair to be a statement in itself you can see we still have really good curl definition yesterday we had a really great wash but it's time to pump up the volume a little bit i am feeling the middle part today i think because this is you know the symmetry of everything middle and then this goes down to the middle. I think middle part would be cute. So I'm gonna kind of leave it like this and I'm going to grab the Curlsmith Intense Treatment Serum. I've actually really been loving this lately. So this is what I kind of rub all over my hands, just like this when I'm fluffing out my hair. So that way it's actually kind of adding some, it's a treatment serum, right? So it's adding some good like nutrients to your hair. It's also like a little bit oil based when you rub it into your hands. You guys know I don't usually use oils, but this feels very, very lightweight when you use it in the way that I'm using it. So it also, because it is a little bit more oil based, helps to avoid frizz and even helps to increase a little bit of shine in my hair as well. So it is my new like favorite thing to use when i need to really really pump up the volume so basically i'm just going to fluff reshape i'm like specifically not going in with any um, refresher spray because the spray is going to make my hair a little smaller again until it actually fully dries and we ain't got no time for that so i am just going to literally fluff it out and shape it fully dry 
I feel sexy with big hair. Like the bigger, the better. I just feel like it's such a vibe. The more that this look comes together, the more that I'm kind of really digging the pink lips with the pink necklace. If I can get it to picture well and come across nicely in the camera, that'll be perfect. Looking good so far. I'm also actually very excited to start these scalp boosters or like scalp this is part of the scalp recipes from curlsmith as well so this one is a full length density elixir so it's supposed to help your hair grow like fuller and thicker and then this one is the scalp stimulating booster so it's just supposed to help stimulate your scalp and it says that it creates the optimal environment for hair follicles so they actually suggest that you use these together. When it comes to scalp serums, I really prefer serums that are a little bit less oily, especially the serums that I'm gonna leave on my scalp. I prefer for them to be like less oily and just almost like a little bit more watery in consistency. And that's what I love about this. It is not super oily, it's watery. And then I'm gonna show y'all right here, like when you, Put it on your skin it literally just kind of your skin just drinks it up so you know that your scalp it's not just gonna sit there and cause buildup on your scalp it's just very lightweight it honestly feels really nice too it just feels like nice and cool like a nice cool liquid going to the scalp this is also great because it's gonna help to give me additional volume at the roots as well so it's kind of helping me for styling today as well. Ooh, look at the difference. Look at what the pick did. It like really lifted it up. Let's go. And I just think there's just something so powerful in being like, oh my God, special occasion. Let me rock my natural curls. You know what I mean? Like that is the entire vibe of this entire shoot. And I love it. I just celebrating being a woman and what that means for me. And for me, that's like rocking my natural curls and just doing the damn thing doing the damn thing sis this is the fit right here damn the girl. face the hair the fit yes honey i love this entire look and i'm sad that i don't actually have somewhere to wear it technically this romper is not really meant to be worn like this because it's supposed to be like buttoned up in the back i don't know if you guys can see here but yeah we're not showing the bag today, so it doesn't even matter. I think it's a vibe, like, off the shoulder. Okay, so basically what I gotta do is... I gotta set up. I gotta figure out exactly where I'm gonna shoot. So I gotta set up lighting, set up backdrop, and figure that out. So. <laughs> This is what the setup looks like. I'm basically just gonna be posed right here in between the door and my little bookcase. And I just want like a plain backdrop. Major key for when you take photos by yourself is a remote. So I literally just do this and then put on two second timer and then quickly put my hand in my pocket. You guys will see, I'll put you down right here so you guys can watch me take some photos. But that's basically it. I've decided plain background. If I don't like the shots that I get in here, then I may potentially try and get some outside in front of my garage, but I don't know. I think a plain background will be kind of like a vibe. I always start by just taking some test shots first to see if I actually like what we got going on. I think we got a couple nice shots. Let me show you guys. I'm just like kind of reviewing on the camera. Sorry that it's sideways. So I did a couple fun ones. We did full body. Look at Hershey. Hershey never likes to let me be great. Um, we did, yes, yeah, so we did full body. We did some close-ups. We did some sunglasses. I'm kind of feeling like we got some good shots so far. I always make sure to like upload them to my phone first so that way I can actually see them. But look at my hair! I love my hair like this. I love it. I love it nice, big, and fluffed out. It's just, this is it. This is me. I think that's basically a wrap.
I think so. I don't know. I might play around a little bit more, but I think we've got the main photos and I think we are good to go. So by the time you guys see this vlog, you will have already seen the photos. If you haven't, make sure you check out my IG so you can see what the final product came out like. Yeah guys, I hope you really enjoyed this little two day get ready with me vlog. If you did, you know what to do. Go ahead, give your girl a little thumbs up. And let me know if you guys wanna see like more vlogs like this, just everyday life, like whatever I'm doing, whatever I'm up to, weekly vlogs. Like if y'all are into that, please let me know because I'm totally into the vlogging thing. I really, really am, I genuinely love it. So yeah guys, that was basically it. It was so fun spending the last two days with you. I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.